We need to take children away. We need to take away the children. Who would say something like that? So this is out of Business Insider. Bombshell Report is alleging that the former Jeff Sessions and Ron Robinson were aggressively in favor of separating migrant families at the border of Mexico. And so this just came in and it was alarming because I know that right now, this would be horrible because we're in the middle of a pandemic. So Sarah, Al, Arshani, October 6, 2020. So this is Jeff Sessions, who was the former attorney general. A draft reported from the Justice Department inspector general said former attorney general Jeff Sessions and former deputy attorney general Rob Rossenstein were a driving force group behind the President Donald Trump's child separation policy at the U.S.-Mexico border, the New York Times reported on Tuesday. So Sessions and Rosenstein called for the separation of children, no matter how young they were, the draft reporting found, according to the, the Times. And so the former Attorney General Jeff Sessions and the top justice officials were the driving force of President Trump's child separation policy at the U.S. border, a new draft report from the department, Inspector General said, according to the New York Times. So the Times reported that Tuesday, the draft report on Michael Horowitz's investigation into the zero tolerance policies, it said Sessions and the former Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein called for the separation of children no matter how young they were. So the draft, which is being reviewed by officials, is subject to change. The newspaper is also stated, and so the Times said it reviewed an 86 page draft report that cited more than 45 interviews with key officials, emails, other documents, and spoke with three government officials who had read it. So MSNBC Jacob Sober off tweeted late Tuesday that the NBC News had also seen the draft report and confirmed the Times reporting. So the Times said five attorney generals had told Justice Department officials in May of 2018 that they were deeply concerned about orders to prosecute immigrants at the border, even if they had to separate kids from the parents. So we need to take away the children, Jeff Sessions reportedly told the prosecutors on a call that month. So the Times said that the prosecutor described that Jeff Sessions said in a note, so if care they care about the kids and don't bring them. Won't give amnesty to people with kids. So Jeff Sessions did not comment to the Times for the Inspector General's report. Soon after that call, Rosenstein doubled down on Sessions' message, telling the prosecutors described that Sessions said in the notes that they care about the kids that and don't bring them in. So, so soon after that call, Rosenstein doubled down on Sessions' message, telling the prosecutors that they should not refuse to prosecute the two in the two cases, or not have to refuse to prosecute in two cases because the kids were very young. And so, that's basically telling you that they, even though the kids were young, they still wanted to go ahead with their um, their prosecution. So the Times said this and so he reported this and so Rosenstein defended himself to the investigators and told the Times that if any U.S. attorney ever charged a defendant they did not personally believe warranted prosecution and they violated their oath of the office. I never ordered anyone to prosecute a case. So the Times reported that after Rosenstein's call, John Bash, the U.S. attorney in Western Texas at the time, told his staff, per the attorney general policy, we should not be categorically declining immigration prosecutions of adults and family units because of the age of the child. So that's basically what was written down. And so the Trump administration's zero tolerance immigration policy led to thousands of migrant children being separated from their parents at the U.S. Mexico border. So in May of 2018, Sessions said in a speech announcing the policy if you cross the border unlawfully, even a first offense, 
then we're going to prosecute you. He added, if you smuggle an illegal alien across the border, then we'll prosecute you for smuggling. If you're smuggling a child, then we're going to prosecute you, and the child will be separated from you probably as required by law. And if you don't want your child to be separated, then don't bring them across the border illegally. So it's not our fault that somebody does that. Women who were breastfeeding said that the immigration authorities separated them from their babies at the border. So according to the Times, so the draft report seemed to confirm this with a prosecutor writing, I do not believe this until I look at the death the duty law, and so Jeff Sessions, Trump and Jeff Sessions and other members of the administration tried to distance themselves from the child separating policy after it came under so much intense scrutiny. So Trump at one point falsely claimed that the Democrats were behind this policy. So in the draft report, Horowitz wrote that while Sessions largely allowed the blame to fall on Trump and the officials of the Department of Homeland Security, he understood that it entailed separating kids from their families and was on board because he thought it would deter illegal immigration. So the department's single-minded focus on increasing prosecution came at the expense of careful and effective implementation of the policy, especially with regard to prosecution of family unit adults and resulting in child separation, the draft report said, according to the time, the news of the Jeff Sessions push for a policy led to a sharp criticism. Send him to Hawk, Representative Hashita Big said in a tweet. So Jeff Sessions, we need to take away the children, Mr. Sessions told prosecutors, according to the participant note. So no, this is not a scene. Taking are, are talking talking about incarcerating your years. This is the former U.S. Attorney General. So basically, so that didn't try to make a point. So the DOJ did not reply to the Business Insider request for comment, but told the Times the draft report relied on this article contains numerous factual errors and inaccuracies. While DOJ is responsible for prosecutions of defendants, and it had a role in tracking and providing custodial care to children of defendants. Finally, both the timing and misleading content of this leak raised troubling questions about the motivations of those responsible for it. So, someone has leaked this information, and that's a fight within that government uh, department to find out to get to the bottom of that, but this is what has come out, that this is the person, in other words, they're saying, allegedly masterminding the whole zero tolerance policy in terms of separation of children from their uh, parents in uh, custody. And so, having said this, I'm going to let this video go. What do you think about that? It's really scary, but I don't know if these places still exist. I believe they do. But how do you social distance when you're in these camps? You can't. And from what I last heard, that the kids were subject to sexual abuse, sexual trafficking, and they were being abused, killed, starved, um, that they did have some kids to die from being um, aggressively, um, they were separated from their parents and parents were uh, depressed. They also were mistreated when they were held in these camps and they were starving. Um, food was bad. There was also an unsanitary conditions that they were being left in. They weren't getting medical care. There's a whole laundry list of things that were happening. And then COVID was just ahead. COVID was coming. So a lot of those people, I believe, were also subject to, um, susceptible to getting infected um, by this disease. Just like people that are in the prison system were being mistreated as well from the same similar types of issues being housed, warehoused together. And so this right here is not a surprise to me, but we'll, we'll see because this developing story is claimed that this thing had been leaked. So we'll see what happens with that in the end. Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for listening.